Brett Henry, you've um, Abacus, you're hosting a hack day. Um, it's certainly the first one we've been involved in. Can you just explain briefly how it works, why you do it, and what you hope to get out of it? Sure, Hack Day brings together developers from across Asia trying to work on things that they really want to work on but don't have time to work on uh, during their average day at work. Uh -huh. um, so, so this is an idea they had, and if they had lots of free time, they would go and work on it. Um, so we, we invite developers from across the region into Singapore for two days um, to an event called Hack Day. It's about a half day worth of training on some of our APIs and, and updates around what's happening with these other developers' tools. And then we cut them loose to develop on an idea and actually code on something that they wanted to spend time on. Uh, so they have 24 hours to actually write code, and after 24 hours they actually have to demo whatever that idea is. Not in PowerPoint, but actually show functionally what they've actually coded. And, and the idea around this 24-hour constraint is when you, when you put constraints on a system, people really innovate. So if you have 12 months or two years to produce a product, you approach it a different way. But when you only have 24 hours, I mean, this is a big constraint. You have to get creative in terms of how are you going to approach it and how are you going to deliver something you can actually demo to a crowd 24 hours later. Um, so it's this idea of constraining the system with time that, that I think helps encourage innovation that you couldn't get otherwise. Okay, and what do you give them in terms of the API? Just basically, what, what is it you give them and say, have a play with this? What do you a lot of these developers already are, are well experienced. They're just getting an update on what's the latest in terms of our enhancements to the API. But some may be brand new, and we're giving them kind of boot camp training 101. Yeah. How do you work with and, and use the tools that we have to help the, the developers to ride around our systems? Okay. And um, uh, this morning when it kicked off, I met last year's winner. He's, he's, he's returned again. He obviously... He From came. Thailand. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's obviously in, in, enjoyed the, uh, the, the event. If you can recall, what, what did he win for? What was, what was his winning entry? Do you know? Sure. He was developing a system that facilitated B two B commerce for wholesalers. Okay. Um, and you know, he developed and demoed that. It, it won the hack for most most likely to be commercialized. And this okay. this hack, we actually provide some startup funding for to help to help this uh, young developer maybe go to market with the idea which uh, this uh, company and young man did go to market with that idea and they've actually deployed the solution that's been very, very successful in the marketplace. Yeah. Um, but we also have other fun awards, so it's not just about winning kind of the, the best commercialized idea. We also have fun awards like, you know, what were you smoking or <laughs> what were you drinking you know, when you uh, developed this idea. <laughs> okay, so some of them... It's designed to be a lot of fun as well. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like quite an endurance test as well because they it's 24 hours straight. What do you feed them? What do you give them to... Sustain their energy level. Combination of or is it just enthusiasm? Lots and lots of Red Bull, lots and lots of food, <laughs> and we also provide video games. So sometimes they're okay. uh, playing video games, Xbox or Wii. Sometimes they're uh, eating, drinking Red Bull. Um, some, some some go with the beer. Okay. Um, and most of the time they're just heads down coding. Great stuff. Well, thank you very much, and we'll see the results tomorrow. Thanks. Right, great. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. See you tomorrow.